Uh, I'll read another phone-in question before I call uh, Sir Alan. We have a shy ano, attendees today. Oh. Ano, for, uh, <laughs> Ayan, this is from uh, Daniel Villapando of Kapap, KPEX. Ayan, his question ah, is... Hi, Daniel. Yan, we, su, uh, we, we saw a new lobby in Flower of Evil na hindi lang pandrama kundi pang action na rin. Ayan, uh, nandiyan na rin ang uh, Sleep With Me when you went out with, uh, to your comfort zone yes. na talaga namang minahal ng mga kapamilya natin sa LGBTQI community. Is there any other character that you want to portray as a kapamilya? I want to portray something like Gone Girl. Ganon classing role, Gone Girl yung gusto ko. Uh, As in since gone. sorry, and Gone Girl. Nag- oh. <laughs> oh, Gone. Oh, oh Gone. Gone. Yes. Oh. oh, yun yung parang gusto kong role na gawin ni uh, Gone Girl and um, yeah, more action series. Of course, I've been saying it out loud. I want to do Panday. So yes. Why not? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Ayan. And ngayon naman na, ano na, kumbaga natapos na i-shoot yung Flower of Evil, napapanood pa rin sa prime time. Ano ang naituro ng character mong si Iris sa personal mong buhay? Like, any realization sa character mo na hanggang ngayon ay bit-bit mo pa rin? Si Iris and si Lavi. Yes. Uh, si Iris kasi, um, she has a very successful career. And also, she knows how to balance her personal life as well. So parang siguro ang isa sa... Uh, uh, gusto kong maging in the future uh, is always is to be able to do that. Actually, I am ki- kind of doing my best then. Cause, but although for me, work is still priority. But um, she was able to handle herself and be successful sa career niya kahit meron na siyang baby at meron siyang husband. So, yeah. Para siya yung ano yung girlfriend ni Lucifer, ang galing-galing noon. Babae siya niyo. Oh, I know. Yeah. Ay, no. Kuha, kuha mo yung galaw niya. Di ba? Oh, siya yeah, sa police woman yeah. dun sa ano with oh, with the yeah, boys. I like, I like her too. Yeah. Sobrang galing. Did did she answer already? Oh, you're yes. good na. Yes. Oh, okay na for our next set of questions, may I call on Miss Alwyn Ignacio of Manila Standard. Ayun si Miss Alwyn. Hi, the diva that you love. Hi, love you. Uh-oh. So, dati dream mo lang makatrabaho si Piola Pascual. Ngayon nakatrabaho mo na. What do you think are his strengths as an actor? And physically, what do you find most good-looking about him? Strengths niya muna as an actor. Ang ganda ng audio ni Ms. Alvin. Ano? Yung yes, oo oh, nga. Yung so much authority, <laughs> no? Oh. Um, he's a very sensitive actor. Um, yung, role kasi na, yung role kasi niya dito is he is not supposed to show emotions. So, he had to unlearn being sensitive. So yun yung strength niya because ang bilis niyang maka um kuha ng emotion sa co-actors niya. May mga scenes nga that we had to stop because he was uh, feeling it so fast. Na affect siya agad which is what we need kasi ba as an actor parang we have to go and like motivate ourselves to to start the engine of our emotions siya. There's no need for anything like that. When he's there, he's already present. Nararamdaman niya agad yung sa co-actors niya. So strength niya talaga yun. Sabi ko, what a good problem naman to have. Kasi parang immediately, he's already there. So, and he's also a very giving actor. Parang um, hindi siya makasarili in such a way na parang he has to excel on his own. He makes sure that if I'm doing well, you're coming with me. So that's how he is. As an actor and as a human being, actually. Um, you're asking me what it is the physically. Best, uh, the the uh-huh. most good looking part about working with Piolo. You get initial shooting, ba na na starstruck ka? Or, and then yung eventually. Yes. Ano yung talagang gustong gusto mong nakikita sa kanya? So, funny story. We were here. Um, nag-workshop kami dito. This, this exact place. I didn't know how I came across because I was so stressed and so starstruck because I couldn't look directly sa eyes niya. I couldn't touch him because I was so shy. So, sabi ko, oh my God, baka mukha akong, I don't know, um, it's either mahiyain or mukha akong um, you know, like snobbish because 
Nasa stress ako na wakan siya. So I remember we were practicing here being husband and wife so that we're comfortable with each other. And my God, I was having such a hard time looking directly sa mata niya. As time went by, I was learning somehow to feel a lot easier because he was trying to make me feel comfortable. But hindi mawawala talaga yung fact na, oh my God, may... Hindi naman niya sinasadya, nandun lang talaga. So, <laughs> so sorry, nandami ko na alam. <laughs> but, yun. He even said it one time out loud. Um, I think this is our first cycle. Nag, ano kami, um, uh, we had like a gathering. Sabi niya sa akin, you're so awkward, no? So, go, oh my God, thanks. Alam niya, kasi mahihiyain talaga ako. So, yun nga yung sinabi din niya last time ng press ko na na-realize pa rin niya na mahihiyain ako. Baka sa kanya lang, hindi ko lang yun. So, yun. Okay, thank you very much. Yes. Thank you. All right, ang gaganda ng questions. More questions, Justin. Ayan, I'm going to, uh, going to read another phone-in question. This one is from Jeffrey Pedron of Kapamilya Online. Ayan, Ayan. si Jeff. Hi, Jeff. From the one and John sa atin, nakasupporta yun si Jeff from the, uh, from the junket up to hanggang ngayon. All right. Yan, sabi niya, bukod sa, bukod sa Flower of sabi Evil. Sabi niya talaga, Tagalog yan, sinabi niya. Check <laughs> Yung pinakauna, na, pinakauna mong series ng Flower of Evil sa EBS-CBN, um, ano pa yung masasabi mong monumental na nagawa or naidulot ng uh, kapamilya karir mo? Or nang, naidulot sa karir mo after gawin ng series na ito? Parang nasagot kanina yan. Oh, parang natanong na. Nasagot. Oh, nasang lang, Jeff. Feeling, feeling mo, no? nasagot na kanina. The, the, the question was came from, uh, sino yung nagtanong na natanong? Ah, si Chichikane, Ayan, si, si Albert. Ano, Sir Albert. Okay, ito na lang. Maliban kay Piolo, no, kung sino pa yung gusto mong ano, bitbitin sa next project mo na co-star na gusto mong muling makatrabaho? Ah, oh, madami. going through right now. I've been growing um, since the day I became a kapamilya. And um, yun, with Flower of Evil, ang dami-dami kong natutunan. And to do a role also, such as something like Sleep With Me. So parang, um, I've been stepping out of my comfort zone and I've been having a lot of dream come trues. So it's been great. Mm -hmm. All right.
sinasabi sir EJ. Okay. <laughs> and having said that, no, the ABS-CBN provided you with growth that you're yearning. Um, what's next uh, for Lavi in ABS-CBN? May upcoming projects ba? Tanong niya. <laughs> yes, but um, you will find out another time yeah. soon. <laughs> Intergalactic. Oh. You're right. oh, <laughs> In the, she of course. Alex Brosas herself. <laughs> yeah. For the killer question later on. The intergalactic. Diba? <laughs> Actually, you basa na natin Sir EJ. Ah. I'm about to call Alex Brosas of Inquirer Lifestyle for our last set ah, of questions. Ah, so Irvin Santiago, I understand that's a question. Ah, yeah, Irvin, sige, editor na. ng Bandera. Hi, Miss Lovey. Ah, tanong ko lang sa kapag gumagawa ka ba ng action scenes? na pipil mo yung presence ni FPJ and humihingi ka rin ba sa kanya ng guidance kapag medyo matitindi na yung action scenes na ginagawa? Actually, I've been meaning to ask you, paano si daddy mo, nasan siya every time na nagtatrabaho ka with your industry people? He's the most loved, respected icon in Philippine entertainment. Nasan si daddy mo pag niisip mo siya? Actually, sumasanib siya sa akin. Sanib Porsche. May sanib Porsche. Ha pero naging iba and then, um, well ano kasi pag kami mga ganyang eksena hindi ko may iwasan na may isip ko talaga siya because there's a reason why I want to do these things siguro na sa debut talaga kasi nga matagal ko nang gusto gumawa ng mga ganitong klaseng eksena and a part of me talaga feels it has something to do with him um, and also alam mo yung I na nagpa-pray talaga ako before doing certain scenes because it's like um, my dad's been known for that and alam ko I will never be able to reach or you know fill in that shoes but the fact that I sana I pray that I get to do even half or be half as good as he was then I'm very happy but you know I always pray and I always say na um uh, na i-guide niya ako sa mga ganitong kasing scenes and you know, and that hopefully I somehow get his, even his stance alone. Yeah. Just love, you have no idea that you, the generosity of your dad. Nataramdam damo na lalo na kami mga old timers sa press. Grabe. My 30 years with ano sa industry. Wow, I saw that. You're very, very unfortunate. Na you, ang tatay mo ay ang yeah. hari. I'm, I am. I am very. Uh, Yung legacy nga na he left behind. Talagang I'll be always grateful. Kasi ako naman nararamdaman ko din yung yung love ng ibang tao just simply because they loved my dad. And I'll always be grateful for that. Kasi nga, that's also one of the reasons why I try my best to show respect to each and everyone that my dad's worked with. Kasi talagang, you know, yung pagmamahal nila sa kanya. Correct. Everyone and, speaks and vice versa. highly of your dad. Yeah. No, walang iba, di ba? Lahat speaks highly of your father. Oh nga, like even oh. sila, um, uh, mga stories nila, ng mga co-actors ko about oh. my dad. It's so nice hearing those stories. Kasi, mm -mm. di ba, yung, mm -hmm. hindi man nakatrabaho, pero ikinikwento. Alright. Thank Last you, Irvin, for asking. Go Last ahead. Na lang, uh, yung reaction mo na lang, Lovey, dun sa mga tumatawag sa'yo ng The Queen, LPJ, di ba? Oh. Ah, I just did kanina. Oh, okay. <laughs> Please hi to the queen. Hindi siya, hindi, hindi ko naiisip yun eh, but thank you guys. <laughs> no, because... Um, Tapos tinatawag ka pang Angelina Jolie of the Philippines. Oh Zoe Saldana. Oh my, I love, I love them. Fairness. Oh, oh, Sige, no. gawin natin yun guys. Ah, ah. <laughs> lalo excited. na, lalo na in the next coming, whatever. Dahil dyan, uh, mag-taping na nga uh, tayo uh, bukas. Na, <laughs> may schedule na ba tayo? Uh, <laughs> so may ganon. Uh, so yeah. Sa susunod na projects mo. Mm, Mala yes. Zoe and Angelina. Well... Let's wait and see. Correct, correct. I'm so excited. The fact that it's a lot of energy. Oh, it's so fast. It's so fast. It's so high-pitched the voice from Lowe. How much? Okay, thank you. Wait, I want to do that. 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 Even the heart, the... Correct, I don't know. All right. I have taste. You guys have taste. Oh my God! Ang ganda ng taste niya talaga when it comes to the best programs. Ah, ayan. May message si Mark Pelobello. Ano naman siya nasabi ni ano? Of course, our business unit head is here, Miss Carl. Where are you, Miss Carl? Dela Merced. Ayan, she's kanina pa siya na. Ayan, she is. Ah, hi, Miss Carl. 
Talagang chine check yung setup everything and the rest. Miss Len, thank you and your team. Ah, uh, Jules Pamintuan, of course. Ah, uh, I'd like mention ko narin hama kibanyos our ad from head si Mike. Si Mark Pelebelo our account head naman dito sa ano and the Corpcom family ni Gabby and Justine. Okay, we are now ready for the killer killers me, killers me to look. Killer killer question. Ah, uh, Lovey, what piece of you is Iris and what? Part of Iris isn't you. In a way, na sagot mo yung hook Iris part, but the not Iris you. The not Iris you. The not I. Oh gosh. I wish. Ang ganda ng tanong ha. Oh nga eh, lagi yun. I love her. Um, I wish I was a bit more of Iris in such a sense na um pinangkati wala niya completely yung husband. Although Shempe nag nag investigate siya, but she was she gave her full trust sa husband niya. Ako kasi I'd be I I I would like to say I am trustworthy, but I wish I was that level of trust trusting sa tao. Kasi nga parang nung when they were going through that sa relationship, parang she was believing more of the what she sees sa harapan niya than what other people would say. Sometimes, kasi, uh, as human beings, we get swayed by, you know, what many people. voices of other people. So, I would like to be more like Iris in that way. If you are to dissect Iris' galet, as, galet, ah, Iris's Alex. character, Charot. what will your startling discoveries be? About uh, Iris's character? Mm. If you are to dissect her character, um, startling discovery about Iris. See, Iris is very transparent. Eh. Um, siguro yung we never, we can never really measure love, but if we could, yung pagmamahal niya kay Jacob would be like off the roof, na talaga. Siguro that will be for me a startling discovery because if we could measure it, it's it's beyond um, uh, most uh, wives' love for their husband. I feel because dito kasi yung level of um, uh, unfaithfulness in your head is uh -huh. like about you know like killing and. You know, you know, murders and all of that. So, for you to be able to surpass that, yung level of love mo talaga for your husband. At saka, ang saka mapapatanong ka dito, yung character ni Iris, parang, ikaw ba, are the person na, pag nagmahal ka, inisay, ano kayo madidiscover ko dito? Yeah, yeah, Di ba? Parang, yeah, yeah. may takot, pero mahal na mahal mo oh, eh. Oh, oh. Tapos, what if, eto na nga, meron na, yun ang pinaka nakakatakot Kasi, na part. Kasi, the usual is like, of course, like infidelity, all oh, these, oh, you know. Pwede. This oh. is like one of a kind. Ba, correct. <laughs> diba? Parang, hindi siya yung normal na parang, is he cheating on me? Or is he, you know, ano to eh. Parang, at kasal kayo eh. At hindi kasal ito, basta kayo, ano lang eh, diba? May, may anak kayo, tapos iniisip mo. Kasi, in, nung na-discover niya na emotionless yung husband niya, sabi niya, ha? Huh? Parang, Totoo bang emotionless siya? Bakit ganito niya ako kung mahalin? Bakit ganito niya mahalin yung anak ko? So, parang, ang daming tumakbo din sa head ko. Parang, kung, kung nangyari talaga ito sa totoong buhay, mahirap, it's gonna be hard to overcome that and to believe your husband talaga. Uh, last question. It seems you are enjoying uh, getting out of your comfort zone, di ba? Parang, you are wading into untested waters for so long now. Uh, will you not return to the old things that you do career-wise? Um, Mahirap it, na bang balikan yun? Because parang that, nasa ibang level ka na, di ba? Mm, well, thank you for that wonderful question. <laughs> always. No, yeah. Um, it's always nice to step out of your comfort zone because you do something new. You do a d different character and then you discover something new about yourself. Um, but there's always something nice about the familiar. You know, parang your heart looks for that sometimes. So parang if I were to do like a romantic comedy or a drama that I'm used, that I'm used to, I would always say yes to it. Because... Um, 
you know, your heart always loves the familiar. And um, it's nice to take a step back and get back to a comf comfortable level. No? So yes, of course, I would like to mix it up. And since I, since I always do something new and I step out of my comfort zone, since ang tagal ko nang hindi bumabalik doon, that for me will be feeling as if it's brand new again. Ang galing mo magbalance eh, <laughs> ng buhay mo, I love you, ano? Sobrang galing. Considering, who are the people na nag behind you? In your influences ba? Ang galing-galing ng pagpapatakbo mo sa pagbuhay mo. Even sa career, we have to give it to your management, ano? Sa network naman, sa ABS. Slowly, you get the projects. Yung pagbabalance, eh, para naman may share mo naman how to balance a life like yours. Although hindi naman tulad sa'yo, pero share lang sa amin kung paano magbalance ng buhay. Ako, first of all, I just have, I think it's important to be clear what makes you happy. Kasi ako, when it comes to um, work, ako kasi, I, ako, I know I'm happy when I'm on set. I'm happy when I do different kinds of projects. So I think it's not hard for me to try to balance things because I know what makes me happy. Like, it makes me happy spending time with my, my family. Um, and it makes me happy to be on set. And that's why I make sure that I make time for both. So it doesn't feel like a chore. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It comes mm -hmm. out. Uh, it com comes out naturally. Natural. Parang, you know. Yeah. 